What's good? It's your boy Swaby Gaming, and we back with another NBA 2K Mobile video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a tournament that I've been um thinking about for a while, and then Leo actually brought it to my attention and said that it would be a good idea. And I was basically telling him that I was already thinking about it. I just didn't know how I wanted it to operate. So I'm still thinking about that, but it'll be more details on that at the end of this video. But for right now, we're going to check out the new theme in the game. It's the all defense theme. And I'm kind of loving these themes where they give the players boosted attributes. So to kick off the obsidian tier, we got Rudy Gobert. And mind you, they're giving you a boost in defending strength and agility it'll be plus one added to each card's stats in those three different um attributes so that's pretty good but we have rudy gobert is going to be kicking them off with the obsidian tier and we have dennis johnson i never used this card before i never seen him in the game honestly so i think it might be a new card if i'm not mistaken i would have to go check and then kicking off the amber tier we got bruce bowen um, he is a craftable card. We got Michael Cooper. Um, he was in the uh, franchise theme, I believe. Then we got Joe Dumars. I really like this card. So with the boost in defense and agility and stuff like that, um, I'll be looking forward to trying to actually get him. But that'll be only in the packs. And then for Cosmic Jasper, we have Rick Marcus Smart and Jaron Jackson right here. Um, this is one of the better power forwards in the game. He's kind of underrated. Then we got Drew Holiday and kicking off the plasma courts. We got Mac Matumbo and then we have Sidney Moncrief. This is also a new card that's craftable. I never seen him in the game. Now, Dennis Rodman, um, I feel like his rebounding should be maxed out because if they gave plus one to each stat, his rebounding was already at a six from previous cards that I've seen of him in the game. So I don't, I'm not sure why it's not maxed out. But kicking off Chaos Diamond, we have Walt Frazier. Um, never played with this card in the game, but he is a craftable one. Then we have John Havlicek. Um, I have his uh, lower tier card. He's one of my gear masters. Then we got David Robinson. I really like the Admiral. Uh, I wish he was a higher tier, but Chaos Diamond isn't too out of the loop. So... He'll still get some play. And then we got Eddie Jones kicking off the Zircon tier. Now, I actually know Eddie Jones. Um, long time ago, in a summer camp or whatnot, he was one of the directors. Um, and he was telling us how about his NBA career and everything like that. So that's going to be pretty cool playing with him in the game. It's kind of kind of interesting. that, But I know I have a pass with him. Now, this is a very good card right here. Gary Payton, very good card, underrated, smooth shot, um, and he's also craftable. I might, I may just craft him out of this. Um, he might be one of the ones that I want to craft. His triple doubles card was very good, so we got that. And then we have Tim Duncan. If Tim Duncan wasn't on this list, the big fundamental, it would have just been like how you have an all defense without Tim Duncan. So kind of excited to play with him. Then we got Bam out of bio. Now, when I first started playing this game, he was getting cards left and right. So this is the first time in a while that they've made a new one. So it should be interesting um, playing with this card. I may try to craft him. I don't know yet. I don't know just yet. But um, very good card from my experience. Um, haven't used him in a while, though. Now, Rajon, haven't seen a card for him in the game. Never played with him before. I know in real life he cannot shoot. So I wouldn't be expecting anything of that nature, but I know he can pass like crazy. Then we have Kevin McHale. This is also a good card. The boosted stats is really going to help him because now you can focus on his playmaking um, to get that speed up in the Cobalt tier. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. My bad. Hit the wrong button. But now kicking off the Garnet, we got the Sneak Peek card. Ron Artest, Metal World Peace. Now, this card is going to be in um, one of the events. So, we'll be able to get him by grinding the event. I can't remember if it's the Gauntlet or the Power Cap, but he's in there. Kawhi Leonard, I wish this card was in the event. Um, but he's definitely a pay-to-win card. So, the only way you'll be able to get him is through packs. Um, and then we have Kevin Garnett. 
Also, you won't be able to get him very good power forward in this game, but you can only get him pay to win. And then we have the top dog, Hakeem Olajuwon. He is also a reward in the events. I believe it's the gauntlet event, if I'm not mistaken. He'll be the final reward in that. And that's the all defense thing. Um, we also have this all defense tourney. Now, I love these tourney modes. So um, you can see I've played two games already, but I will be making a compilation and showing you guys the fourth quarter of every round and showing you what shoe I got from the round two quarterfinals and then the finals. I'll show you guys what, what goes on in there, what shoes we got, what team is for. Um, but back to the tournament that I want to host. First things first, you have to have iOS. So only iPhones because that's what I'm playing on. So that's how we're going to do it as far as that. Now, entering the tourney, I'm going to need you guys. If you want to be in the tourney, I need you to join the Discord. The link will be in the description for the Discord. So go ahead and hit that link and join the Discord so that you can enter. And also leave a comment letting me know that you want to be in the tournament under this video so comment on this video if you want to be in the tournament or not i'm choosing 16 people and um there those are the requirements basically you have to have an iphone you have to uh join the discord and leave a comment letting me know that you want to be in and the first 16 people to um leave those comments will be the ones that get into the tournament um i still haven't figured out how i want to run it just yet so but right now, want to get it in place as far as who wants to be in the tournament. So with that being said, join the Discord, leave a comment, and like the video if you want to be in the tournament. I will be figuring out the rules and the regulations um, over the next couple days. I'll think about it. So this is just to throw the idea out there and see how you guys like it. So just let me know in the comments on this video also the link for the discord is in the description you have to be in the discord if you want to join the tournament um saying that again you need an iphone so join the discord have an iphone leave a comment leave a like and let me know if you want to be in it it's your boy swaby gaming and i'm out peace